Hi guys, welcome to Brashov, Transylvania. Today we're taking you with us to try the most incredible traditional Romanian foods. I already see your first stop. Salut. Uh, just give up? No? Nothing? Okay. Nothing. Uh, Madame. Yes. Ah, okay. Do you have um, bronze de bolo? Uno? Uno? Do you chocolate? Chocolate? We got our placente, and this is just a little shack in a corner, so there's nowhere to sit, so we're just eating on the street. And this was actually a recommendation from my sister's neighbor, who is from Romania. She's actually from Brasov, so she said you have to go to that place. Oh my god, this is fresh out the fryer. So I think the name of this place like basically translates to the house of pies. But these are not really pies, it's more like a pancake that is like fried and then like folded with different stuff. Like on the inside, it can be sweet or savory. This one is sheep's cheese. Take my first bite. I think you eat it like this from this side. Bite where the cheese is. This is so good. Like the dough is so fresh. It's kind of like crispy on the outside, it's, but soft on the inside. It's a really, really good dough and the cheese is delicious, super fresh. This was a great recommendation. Anneli, thank you so much. I don't think we would have ever found this place if it wasn't for you. Thank you. I'm covered in Nutella. That's <laughs> a sweet one. Nutella with fried bread. That's delicious. I wanted to get another one with yellow cheese, but they were out of it. So I panicked because I didn't know what anything else on the menu meant except for like chocolates. So that's what I went for. And yeah, fried dough with Nutella. This is delicious. Mm -mm. Rashov's beautiful city center and we're heading to our second stop we're gonna try like some it's kind of like a street food so it's like Romania's version of like a pretzel and it's called Gori and it should be delicious and I'm sure I'm gonna like it because I love bread. I think we're gonna do this one and that one over there. <laughs> we're kind of rushed to like explain you guys this because we're being attacked by wasps right now because this is sweet and it's just like basically like a pretzel with like sugar and walnuts on top and the dough I don't know if you can see it it's kind of like a phyllo dough sort of it's not like super dense like a pretzel it's really good Poverty. this one looks super familiar if you know me you know why this used to be my street food or like travel day snack when we were in Turkey. And this one has a cherry jam filling and it looks really good. And I think this has the potential to become my new travel day snack here. Mmm. Mmm. That jam. That is so good. That is really, really good. Oops, problem. You want to try it? Let's see. Let's see what you have to say. Cement with jam, huh? The wasps are back. Here. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. See? Oh, that was really good. The jam's kind of like syrupy. Mm-hmm. We don't know if this comes from cement, but we think it does. If you do know, let us know. Because I know people get sensitive with foods. So I don't know if this is like inspired by the Turkish. 
but we also love it. You can do it. Never doubt yourself again. <laughs> do you know the story here? That this street was built for firemen. Do it. So we are in Brasov's famous Rope Street, and this was built for firemen to connect the two main avenues. I think it was built in like 1700s or so, or 1600s, 17th century. And some parts are only like a meter wide. In your arms? <laughs> I can touch on my elbows. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> We're basically hanging out in the town until we get hungry again because we have a lot going on for lunch. We're gonna try some of the best traditional Romanian foods that you could ever think of. Yeah, could we start with the, the bean soup? Yes, bean soup is Yes, uh, and also the eggplant salad with tomatoes? We'll do it. Is that like a dip or no? Uh, it's like a uh, like pasta, it's mashed. Ah, mashed. Okay. okay. Yeah, can we start with that and then a little bit later have the uh, the sharma, sharma, like the cabbage wraps? Uh, Sarmale. Sarma, yeah. Sarma, cabbage wraps. Yeah. <laughs> and um, also the bulls with smoked sausage. So we're at this restaurant called La Seon Restaurant. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'll put the name here. This was recommended by several locals and we're very excited because it's supposed to be like homemade like traditional foods and we have here I also don't know how to say it. How do you say it? Shorba Faso. Shorba Faso. Shorba Faso. And it's like a white bean soup with like uh, paprika and like minced like pork or ham and it comes inside an entire bread. Like look at that. You can like Pick it up. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. I can see like all the veggies in there and I can already like smell the pork. It smells very, very good. Mm. This is so good. Like you can like the pork really comes through, like it's nice and smoky and it's so flavorful. And it comes with like a bunch of like red onions like on the side. I don't know if you just like throw it in there. I don't know. Let's see. I mean this can't be wrong. Mm. Mm. The red onions, by the way, the ones we've tried so far, we cook a lot with them. They're delicious here in Romania. This is quite addicting. I can see us having this several times during the month that we're gonna spend here. Oh my gosh. Like it's so good, like with the onion. I don't know if I can like scoop it. The onion nacho? Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. You have to try this. The soup is really, really, really good. So we learned that you can like scoop some of the soggy bread to like get all those flavors in there. Look at these chunks of ham. This is awesome. It's not like this wasp is gonna kill me. It's not like American ham, it's like thick chunks. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that ham is awesome. It's so smoky and delicious. This is really good. Oh, I would order another one of these. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to like poke too much in the bread. I don't want it to like spill out. <laughs> so you have to be very careful. This is very, very nice. Mm. I don't think you're gonna get it back. And that's the after shot. Are you gonna eat your plate? I don't know if you're supposed to eat all the bread. I don't think so. Mm. Let us know if you're Romanian. 
just going to keep scooping out the sasagi bread. <laughs> so this is an eggplant puree. It looks very nice. You just spread everything here in Romania on bread. Try this baby out. Very nice. We've heard from a lot of people that Romania has great vegetables. And this is very good. I and, think you would like this a lot. And all the vegetables we've had have been incredible. Cute. <laughs> I do like it a lot. Boys? Mm, more food. Okay. Mm -hmm. One very, very good. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. This looks so good. So this is one of Romania's most iconic dishes. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because the waiter just said like something else completely different than what we tried to say. So these are basically like cabbage rolls with mince, meat and pork inside. And they smell incredible. And the way they serve them here is like with like a polenta puree on the side and sauerkraut. And they give you the sour cream because you're supposed to build... Oh my gosh, look at this. As I was saying, <laughs> you're supposed to like put a little piece of bacon that comes on top with some herbs and sour cream. Oh my gosh, I think this is going to be amazing. <laughs> There's so much yes in this. It's minced meat with like some pilaf, some rice. And it's delicious. Like you can barely taste the cabbage. It's mostly like about the meat. And the sour cream is so different than the sour cream in the US. Like it's not that strong. This is real. And obviously the bacon is delicious. And we've noticed that most of the like animal protein that you see here in Romania, it's pork. Oh, so good. Romanian food for the win today. So this is our last entree of the afternoon. This is called bols, which is also one of Romania's most traditional dishes, which I think is like polenta, usually mixed with cheese. And this time it's topped with like a smoky pork sausage. Um, it looks very good. Also very heavy. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> You don't really taste the corn too much. It's just like the smoked sausage and cheese. And those two like always go well together. Very rich. This is very, very heavy too. I don't think I can finish this whole thing. But the flavor is awesome. So fun fact about pork in Romania. They started introducing pork into their recipes like during the Ottoman occupation of this land because the Ottomans don't eat pork. So that was to keep them away from the livestock so they wouldn't steal it. And that's something that we learned from our friend Eddie on our train ride from Bucharest to Russia. So thank you, Eddie, for that hot tip on pork in Romania. And we're thankful for it. Can we order the Papa Nush? Yeah, just one? Yeah. Thank you. More food. Romanian donuts. It's for you. This one's for you. I'm here with the sausage. I'm here for the sausage. I'm here for the sausage. <laughs> Is that us? Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. That looks amazing. So this is called papanash and it's basically like Romania's most famous dessert and it's like a donut pretty much with like sweet cream on top and like jam and it smells delicious and I think it's just made fresh because it took them a little bit to bring it and I gave, like I just like cut through it and it's just like crispy on the outside and like doughy on the inside and it looks perfect. I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna eat it. Mm. Mm hmm This is so good. 
It's so good. I really have like high expectations for this because everyone like says that it's delicious and that you really have to try it. And it lives up to the hype. This is really, really good. It's not too sweet. It's like perfectly balanced. I'm gonna have a lot of these in the next 30 days. Hey, stop it. Just a flight. Stop it. You want some? Mm -hmm. That was so good, but we still have one more stop. have a Romanian food tour video without trying the local spirit. This is palinka. I think it's like 43% alcohol, which is pretty light. I understand for palinka, it's often homemade and pretty strong. This is apricot palinka. It smells very, very fruity, very good. We also ordered it with some cheeses and we wanted to get sausages, but unfortunately they didn't have sausages. But when you go to like the supermarkets here in Romania, there's like a cooler that goes on for like a kilometer just filled with sausages. I think they beat Italy with like the number and the variety. So we'll show that in a different video. But for now, we'll just try the palinka. I'm excited. It is very good. Like it obviously has like the alcohol bite to it, but like the apricot flavor is awesome. They recommended that. They also have like pear and plum, I think. It's very fruity and delicious. This might be my new raki. For the next 30 days. Yeah. Very good. They recommended it with a cigarette. <laughs> I said no. It's really good. I love cheese with wine. This place is awesome because it's like a wine bar and they don't really have like a menu but there's like a sommelier and he comes to the table and explains like the wines they have and he recommended this Pinot Noir from Transylvania and it's delicious. And we're gonna end the video here, we're gonna enjoy like this beautiful evening but if you guys like to watch like future videos I'm gonna leave like a playlist here that you guys can check out next and if you want to watch like other Romania videos I'm gonna leave that playlist here too. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!